fast to do what I carry in my back, like my walk, little quick gear walk around, I guess. So I haven't had a chance to organize it. All I did was organize the tools. So yeah, let me show you what I usually travel with. So this is exactly how it is everywhere I go. This is my daily driver. No matter where I'm at, going to work, going anywhere, this is what I carry. So here it is. I carry five gallons of water in the Reliance uh, Rhino Pack. Uh, I just recently got this. It's a survival shack. I still need to find a place for it. So for now, it's there. Uh, on the side, I carry a small shovel, a little shitty Shakespeare fishing pole. Uh, I always carry extra spark plugs, a rag, like shop rags and all that. Propane, uh, water. I got some MREs down there. I don't know if you can see them. And then I always have my backpack. So that backpack has all my fishing gear in it. Then I have the Harbor Freight 3 in 1 uh, power pack. I love this thing. Even before I started working there, I've always loved it. And then going around this way, I have, of course, some rolling rock. And yes, I always have beer in here. Uh, Layla's chair, a Mexican blanket. You can never go wrong with the Mexican blanket. Some work boots, my front runner, pop up tent. And then back here I have my Bosch drill, some gloves, our water shoes, and then another inverter. And then this box that says, do, that says don't open. Yeah, that's where we keep our little 38 special. So that's the sides, that's pretty much it. On the back, buried, there's another chair. I carry three, cause it's me, my wife Leah, and then Layla. So my green one's in the very, very back. This is my wife's blue one, and then my daughter's uh, pink one. So yeah, that's all the stuff around. The shovel is just a regular Home Depot shovel. I spray painted it black. The little clips, I got them at Home Depot. These are, uh, these ones are a little what, I think, quick fist for the shovel. The clips for the fishing pole, I think they were like 99 cents. They do the job though. Uh, and here I have some more rags, some electrical tape, the spout for the jerry cans in there, and then a bunch of uh, like zip ties and like miscellaneous shit, like, fuse, like fuses and stuff. And for all of you that have Bronco, the fucking stupid cover for the throttle body broke off, so gotta find a new one. So yeah, and then these are, uh, I forgot what they're called, but they're from Front Runner 2. I think they're called like lashes or some shit. But yeah, they're fucking awesome because they tie up and then this little bungee just makes everything stay and it's just easy to let go. So, yeah, that's the sides. Nothing fancy. I'm trying to see if I forgot anything. Oh, the inverter. It's just a little Harbor Freight. It's a Sentec. This is a little small one. Uh, this one we usually use to run the speaker or like a light from back here. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so now let's go through the boxes. So in this box, this is fluids, WD-40, uh, transmission oil, motor oil, coolant, just basic shit. And these are ammo crates. They're, these are the thicker ones, and then in here are the smaller ones. I don't know the, the model numbers or anything, but yeah, they're fucking awesome. And here's just miscellaneous shit. So like a funnel, I use this to get under the truck. Just more random fuses, extra light bulbs, uh, tire repair kit, uh, bits, batteries. These I love, because the reason I have these, a lot of people ask me, I don't know if you guys can see them. So the reason I have these are because when we go camping, I like to clip these on. have light. Another thing is I like to put a carabiner and a tarp and just make my own awning which always helps. So yeah like band-aids, 
tubing, tubing, just random shit. And they are waterproof, which is another thing that I love about these. Put them back, pull on the strap, and now they're not going anywhere. So let's move down here. This one is like emergency stuff. A little stove, some food, another first aid kit, French toast, of course. Uh, more of those little blankets, aluminum foil, uh, wipes, extra diapers. Uh, I think this is called an Israeli bandage. Uh, it's a trauma. Hold on. Damn it. Sorry, I'm by the airport again. So it's a trauma wound dressing. I suggest either this or a tourniquet. I love these things and I suggest you learn how to use it before you need to use it because I've run to I run across a lot of people on the trail and they're like hey bro you have a band-aid and it's like it amazes me it amazes me how much money people spent on their shit and how equipped they want to be but for the equipment they actually need they're just completely fucking clueless it amazes me like all my money is spent on mostly gear and the engine. The engine is my number one priority. Without the engine, I have no rig. The engine is gonna get me places, the engine is gonna get me through things, and the power of that engine is something that I need and I want it to be reliable. And a lot of people forget that maintenance is fucking important. And not only that, but without, the engine is the heart of your rig. And without that, you have no rig. So, something to think about. Oh, and flares. I always carry flares, cause, you know, and a headlamp. So that's this one. This is like mostly emergency slash, I don't know, extra clothes, diapers, wipes, food, emergency. And then back here, this one's all spares. So uh, I love this tape, this fiber fix. I love this shit. Uh, MSD distributor, a lot of ignition wires because for those of you that have headers, know that headers don't like ignition wires. And then just random map sensors, everything, uh, EGR valves, uh, TPS sensor, uh, O2 sensor, and then extra fuck, what's that? A belt, and then more hose. I always have a bad luck with hoses. And then an OBD2 reader, even though this is an OBD1, but I know a lot of people that have OBD2 and go spend like 150 bucks to get their shit checked. Might as well give me the 150 bucks. So that's that one. Then we have just a little table. That's it. A little tiny table. Then, like I said, uh, that's my wife's chair. Then I have, uh, let me see if you can see it. It's called the fun shit box. So this is where I keep, uh, hold on. Yeah, most of my shooting gear, so 38 ammo, more 38 ammo, uh, Layla's earplugs, my earplugs, my wife's are in there, safety glasses, you know, just everything that we need to go have fun or when we're in the desert, just pull over and, you know, let some rounds off. So that's the fun shit. This is my, like, somewhat recovery gear. I need to, like, start buying more recovery gear, so it's just, like, straps, uh, a lot of straps, more uh, D-rings down there. Yeah, see, I got like about these hooks that I still need to install. I just gotta find out where. So it's all recovery shit and like upcoming projects. Then my tool bag. So in here is like shit that I need right away. So shout out to my boy Rick, uh, Tahoe Adventures. This is shit that I need like right away. And then in here is like just random either doubles or like sockets that I don't want to lose. I don't want to make them lose and get all crazy in here so just random shit and this is like stuff that I can just like pull out and work on my truck so in here I'm sorry if I'm going fast I'm just at a park and I don't want to look like creep is my uh, VR or Vyair compressor uh, I run 31s these are this is good up to 33s so you know, if you got 33s and we're on the trail, I, I got you. Anything above that. 
Uh, you're stupid. I'm just kidding. So that's the compressor. Treasure of course. Can't be an overlander without a treasure And then uh, I keep this in here just because it's always good to have. It's one of those little single portable gas stoves. It runs off butane. I love this thing. It puts in work. It just doesn't have a windshield, so it makes it a little bit challenging, but it's fun. And yeah. So that's most that's most of this stuff down here. Um, like I said, I don't carry much, but to most people it seems like a lot. To me, it feels like I'm underprepared all the time. Most of the stuff I carry is stuff that I've learned in the past that, like shit, I should have had that, so I go out and buy it. A lot of people I go on the trail with, uh, they usually have way more shit than I do. And it's crazy because I feel like I'm underprepared at all times, and they're just always constantly like, oh, I got this and I got that, but I feel like if you have the basics and you feel comfortable with your rig, which is one of my big things, like we all go to shops. We all hit that wall where you're going to go to a shop and you're going to need help. But for the most part, I try to do most of my maintenance. There's certain things where I don't know yet, so I'll take it to my friend and he's a reliable mechanic and I trust him. But there's some people out there spending so much money on a fucking tune-up, dude. And it's like, Jesus Christ, give me the fucking money. I'll give you a tune-up. So that's my thing. If you're gonna go on the trail and you're gonna go and break shit, you kind of know how to have. You kind of have to know how to fix it, or else you're gonna be in deep shit. And that's one of the things that I've tried to learn this rig, like the back of my hand. So when we do go out, I can fix it. And most of the shit in here, I can say that if we get stuck or if I get stranded, we'll survive and we'll be fine. Another another thing is. I, I, I've noticed that a lot of people, shit, how did I say it? A lot of people forget about their safety equipment, their gear they have to carry, their tools. It's like, that's why I like carrying this stuff, because I like to help. I like to be there and I like to get someone back home. It's a good feeling, because it sucks to go on a trail and have someone get stranded or someone get stuck, and then it's like, okay, well, figure it out, have fun. No, that sucks, that's stupid. So this is the back. This is what I carry in the back, so for the most part, it's an easy setup, not that much stuff. Uh, what I want to do eventually is I want to cut this box in half, slide everything back in, and then minimize some stuff. That way, like for 4th of July, we can still sit in here, because right now if I sit in here, I'm going to hit my head. So, yeah, so this is the back, and then right now we'll go up to the front. So this is the back seat, ammo can. Uh, my wife's got a flashlight up there. She's got a fire extinguisher. She usually carries like wipes and extra water in there. I have another inverter for her back here. And then look at this car seat. Then we always carry extra sweaters, you know. We go on long trips, so one of those neck things. Uh, Layla's little pillow. Uh, more work boots, a ball for her, a fan, because I haven't got my AC fixed. We always carry water with us everywhere we go, like no matter what. I think water is one of the biggest things that should never be forgotten. I have another fire extinguisher, some beef jerky, I got a knife here in case shit gets tricky. Uh, one of those uh, sock foldable shovels, another ammo can from my side. Uh, yeah, I'd rather not say what's in there. A little jack for me, more blankets, a uh, little Dodger mini bat, uh, self explanatory maps uh on the back of that seat i think my wife has chips and then i have all my receipts for the truck so everything i've ever bought everything i've ever done to the truck is in that folder so yeah and then on both sides we have these flashlights which are rechargeable so you can't really tell right now it's too bright so yeah this is the inside, and I'll show you the cockpit right now. So in here is just basic. We just have, I put these two little holders that I got off Amazon, just for like extra shit, because in here, I usually keep another little knife and then the remote for the radio, which we never use. 
but like as soon as I take off, she starts flying from here. So I decided to buy these. I have the Sirius XM because for long trips that puts in work. I have these little magnet things I bought off Amazon, which I fucking love because I'm just driving and that's all I gotta do. I love it. I got this little holder, uh, military 12 gauge, shell, my lens cap that I've been looking for, and then just random, just random stuff that describes me. I carry a little Unidense uh, CB. Then down here I have all the switches for the rear chase lights, then the power for all the inverters, and then my top, uh, light fox lights and then the light bar and then i added one of these uh excel van usb chargers or usb ports right there so that's pretty much it it's just a basic truck just for what i need it so my thing is i'm gonna build i'm gonna build my rig to what i need everything in my rig is the shit that i've needed shit that i've wanted to do to it not shit that I see like oh that's a cool trend I'm gonna do that too no fuck that I'd rather have my stuff equipped to my needs versus someone's needs that I'm not gonna ever use so yeah so it's just a basic setup nothing fancy uh, when people see my truck they're just like I don't know. I really don't care. Everybody's like, oh, you should do this, you should do that. And it's like, one, I don't shit money. Two, I'd rather put my money where it belongs. Like, I'd rather put the money on a nice trip or on the gas or something or on the campsite or find something cool to do for the family versus just dropping it into my rig and just shit that I'm never gonna use. Like, I want a roof rack bad because as you can see, like, when we set up here, like for camping like to go on trips it gets about like this high and i can't really see shit at the back window and that kind of bugs me because i don't know i just like seeing what's behind me so i want to get a rag but you know i gotta figure out what to do with this fiberglass top so yeah like like i said just build your rig the way you want to build the rig don't build the rig to what you see on instagram to what you see what's cool or what some other fucking guy is doing that just stays at home all day and is a fucking millionaire so just build what you want build what you need and have fun like you don't need all that extra shit to go out like fuck that all those people that tell you like oh you need this or you need max tracks or all that cool whatever like you know good for them they need it they need it i haven't needed it so why am i gonna go spend it if I do need it later on, like, hey, I'm gonna go down to Baja. Okay, then I might get some traction pads or some max tracks or something. But till then, why the fuck am I gonna carry it? Like, it just looks stupid. Like, you know, you, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to knock on anybody or whatever. Like, people do their own thing and that's fine. I'm not here to judge, but at the same time, don't sit here and judge me because I want to keep my truck simple. Like, this is my daily driver. I drive this shit everywhere and when I do need to save gas, we have a little Civic that we drive around. Or when we go super far and it's gonna be an uncomfortable trip, then we take my wife's Mazda. But besides that, this is my daily driver. And this is how it drives every day. And I still get decent gas mileage. Well, shitty gas mileage, but for me, like I don't mind it because I love this truck. And you know, like I wanna keep it somewhat stock looking, somewhat like, you know, like I know I have stickers and jerry can and a CB antenna, but you know what? It looks fine, it looks simple. I don't want to have a fucking crazy ass max tracks on my fucking window and some roto packs everywhere which by the way i think roto packs are a fucking ripoff so i don't know that's just me i'm i'm good with the jerry can it's been tested it's proven himself but like i said whatever floats your boat bro but don't sit there and talk shit about other people's rigs because you know what then maybe that's what they like maybe that's the way they wanted to build it so that's my thing. There's been too much of this elite fucking clubs and you need to have this and that and all these fucking trucks have the same color now. All these fucking trucks look the same. I'm still looking for a unique truck out there. And that's why most of the people I fuck with are people that have something different, you know? like Or that even if they do have something that someone has, I like their rig because you know what? They put the work into it. They fucking built it. They have it the way they want it. Not something they saw on a fucking magazine or 
some fucking club is doing this and now everybody's gonna have it. No, fuck that. That's why a lot of the guys I fuck with, like Rick from Tahoe Adventures, like Johnny from Dungeon, like uh, Jose from Overlanding for Insanity, like a lot of guys, like uh, shit, like Freedom Overland. I love his F-150, that shit's fucking badass. Like, I like rigs like that because it's different, they put the work into it, you know, like, just be you. Stop following trends, stop following all these crazy ass, like, oh, this shit came out, I gotta go buy it. For what? You're not even gonna use it. So that's my rant. So now, I don't know if you guys can see, but Layla's in the back that way, playing in the swings. So I'm gonna go kick these kids off the swings and let Layla get on. So yeah, this is a rig. This is what I usually carry. This is what I carry every day. Uh, when we go camping, when we go on trips, it gets a lot fuller. But for the most part, this is it. This is it every day. If you guys see me, pull me over. I'll show you. This is what I carry every day. So stay up, stay on the trail, stay safe, and have fun. Stop hating. Just enjoy life and go out with people that you fuck with. Stop, stop messing around, fuck boys. That's my new thing. I'm not going on trails with any more fuckboys. I'm not going on trails with any more like, oh, you need to have this or sorry, you don't drive the same kind of brand that we do. Fuck you, bro. If you don't want to go on a trail with me, that's fine. I got mad homies that that would love to go out and don't want to just meet up at a parking lot and take some little cute pictures. So, whatever. I know a lot of people are going to get mad, but as you, as you guys know, I really don't give a so, fuck. Yeah. I'm going to go hang out with the family. Uh, finish this monster and then go watch some football before work and go finish that so yeah all right have a good one